Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And as you can see, there's a lot of food in front of you. Well, what this food is, is in my dishwasher. And, um, I kind of need some help with this diabetes thing. I'm really, really, really having a hard time dealing with this and not being able to get my blood sugar low um this to put it bluntly this di diabetes is kicking my ass the lowest that i have gotten my blood sugar down to is 131 that's only been one time last night it was 158 and i'm telling you i haven't been on youtube to make a video because i don't know what to cook I, one person tells me one thing, and another person tells me another thing, and the dietitian, the diabetic dietitian tells me another thing, and I am just going crazy, and I really don't want to trust, I have a hard time trusting, um, the... American Diabetes Association website or the Diabetic Living website or on recipes because the nutritionist has told me not to eat stuff or I've read stuff that you shouldn't wheat. I've read that you shouldn't eat anything that's whole wheat. So I'm going to go through this stuff and I'm going to show you what I've got and if y'all see anything, and this is just in one section of, of my house. This is in my dishwasher. Um, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm sorry. My TV came on. Um, because it switched to another channel. Anyway, I was told not to eat whole wheat. Then a lot of the recipes have whole wheat. I was told not to eat white flour. Or all-purpose flour, but some of the recipes have all-purpose flour in them, and I'm just, I really am just going crazy. This is just stuff that I have that I don't know what to do with. I don't know whether to fix it and use small, I mean, just eat a small portion of it. I really don't know. Now, this, this right here. This is just fortune cookies that I'd gotten when I fixed Chinese food. Each one of the fortune cookies, um, five of the cookies, have 29 grams of carbohydrates. Um, so, I know I can't eat those. Alright. This is Southern Biscuit Formula L Complete Biscuit Mix. Um, on this... The carbohydrates is 17 grams. The dietary fiber is only 1 gram. So, um, I don't guess I can eat this either. So, I'm just kind of laying everything off to the side. And then again, I'm not supposed to eat macaroni products. Um, so, these are the small shells. Not supposed to have pasta. So, these are the small shells. Um... 41 grams for a half a cup of dry. 41 grams of carbohydrates. So I guess that's one that I'm not supposed to eat. Chow mein noodles. Stir fry noodles. Carbohydrates. Total carbohydrates, 42 grams. Zero grams of dietary fiber. Zero grams of sugar. So what's in this that's carbs if there's no sugars and there are no fiber what's the carbs coming from this i guess i really don't know what carbs are and i really need y'all's help i really do um this right here parboiled rice uh on this the for a fourth of a cup dry, 
is 37 grams of carbohydrates. One gram of that is dietary fiber. Um, I can't stand brown rice. If I have to have brown rice, I'll never get, I'll never have it. Then I've got a baggie here full of breadcrumbs, plain. I don't know if I can have those. I did find um, whole grain cholesterol-free egg white pasta. No cholesterol, low fat, low sodium. Alright, but still, that has 39 grams of carbohydrates. 4 grams of that is fiber. So, I, I think you're supposed to take the fiber off of the carbohydrates. So, that would still be 35 grams of carbohydrates in that. Quinoa. I bought this quinoa. Um, that still has 29 grams of carbohydrates in it. And it's supposed to be good for you. Jasmine rice. I've never had this, so I really don't know what it tastes like. But it's got 44 grams of carbohydrates in it. my buttermilk cornmeal mix which y'all know I love cornbread it's got 22 grams of carbohydrates with just one gram of fiber so I really don't that seems like it wouldn't be very bad um so I'm really not sure what I'm supposed to do with all this. This is cornbread stuffing mix. This is um, fine egg noodles. The, the carbohydrates on the egg noodles are 39 grams. Two of that is fiber. Dietary fiber. So <laughs> I have Cornbread stuffing. I have lasagna. I have couscous. Now, I would think that couscous was, would be good, but I evidently not because it's got 42 grams of carbohydrates in it. Bread flour. Uh, 22 grams of carbohydrates in that. And I love making bread. Turbinado sugar. This is supposed to be organic. <laughs> I, I I just I don't know. I don't know. Here's corn um pancake mix. Not supposed to have that. Bisquick, heart healthy, heart smart. I don't think you're supposed to have that. Um, let's see what else I got. This is rice noodles. 45 grams of carbohydrates in that. Alright, let's go up here to this. I don't know if you can see this. I gotta, yeah, I'm gonna have to move this up. Alright, this is the vegetable recipe mix. This just has 6 grams of carbohydrates. This is the Old El Paso taco seasoning mix. It's only got 3 grams. Beef and broccoli seasoning mix. It's got 5 grams. Um, let's see. The onion soup mix. Four grams of carbohydrates. I've got lentils. I know you can fix that. Um, thin spaghetti. You're not supposed to have that. I 
I've got all this candy that I that I was gonna fix for Christmas, like the I, this is milk chocolate and semi sweet and the peanut butter and peanut butter and butterscotch and um chow mein noodles and beefy onion soup mix. I've got, I don't know how much powdered sugar. I've got linguine. 41 grams of carbohydrates in that. Then I've got self-rising flour. Um, 23 grams in that. I've got hush puppy mix. I've got brown sugar. I've got chicken breading. I've got jello pudding. Um, two things of coconut cream, two things of butterscotch. Um, I do have some sugar-free chocolate pudding. Don't know if you can even eat that. And I've got sugar-free cherry jello. And I've got lime jello. I mean, I really am having a hard time. All I've been fixing has been chicken, broccoli, greens. I really love my greens now. I've been fixing collard greens and spinach and um, just whatever else I can fix. Um, <laughs> I haven't had any potatoes or I did... We went out to eat the other day to this buffet, and with the buffet, you get a steak or whatever, too. So I got a chopped steak, and I got a sweet potato instead of a baked, a baked sweet potato instead of a baked potato, because I know baked, I mean, sweet potatoes are supposed to have more vitamins and, and all that in there for you. They're supposed to be really good for you. I've got lots of fruit. But then I heard that you can't eat watermelon. Well, I have a personal size watermelon in here that I got to fix with raspberries and strawberries because I like to cut it all up in together and put it in a bowl and eat it like that. Um, <laughs> I'm scared to eat anything because no matter what I eat, my blood sugar is not going down. I don't know whether to call my doctor I don't know. I mean, I've been fixing a lot of, um, not pinto beans. As I've fixed northern beans. I've fixed, um, lima beans. Um, <laughs> I'm telling y'all that I, I need your help. I need y'all's help more. If any of you out there know a lot about diabetes and you've kept your sugars low, I am on 1,000 milligrams of metformin. I take at night before I go to bed. I'm on the Genuvia. I take that at night before I go to bed. My blood pressure, um, I went and had it checked the other day. My blood pressure was really good. So, not worried about that. My cholesterol was way, way low, lower than my doctor's, 158, I think. So I don't have a problem with um, cholesterol and high blood pressure. I've been on, um, let's see, I'm on low sartan one time a day, 100 milligrams for my blood pressure. But my Blood pressure's never, my top number will be high, but usually my bottom number isn't. This last time that I went, or time before last that I went, it was one, I forgot now what it was, 170 something over 105 or 103, somewhere like that. That was high, and so she raised my 
low sartan up. She took me out from a topolo, raised my low sartan up from 25 milligrams to 100 milligrams. So that's what I'm on for my blood pressure, which it seems to be doing okay. I Just like all this food, I mean, I don't know what to do with all this. I don't, I cannot see me throwing this stuff away. I can't. And some of it's open, so no shelter or anything like that is going to take it. And But it's still good. So, I mean, I really don't know. Can you have all-purpose flour? Do I have, I mean, I haven't really looked at the flowers yet because I'm kind of scared about that. I haven't, I did look at the pastas and did find some whole grain pastas, but whole wheat, the diabetic nutritionist told me that that was okay. But everybody else, every place else that I've read, whole wheat is bad for you. So... And I've heard several people have said something about split pea soup, but then peas are supposed to be a starch, and they're not good for you. So, what can I do? What? Please help me. If you have some very good low-carbohydrate dishes, please send them in to me. Because I really am going crazy trying to figure this all out and get my blood sugar down. I took it this morning, 180. I hadn't had anything to eat since last night. So, I mean, how can your blood sugar go up overnight when you haven't had anything to eat? It just makes, none of this makes any sense to, to me. And I can't call my doctor and just talk to her for hours about this. So, if y'all have any suggestions, please give me a hand here. Please help me. I'm sorry. I know a lot of you are not diabetic, but I think we all want to eat healthy. And this, this can help all of you. I mean, everyone from, um, 50, I mean, you know, from small child to uh, 80, 90, 100 years old can benefit from eating healthy foods. So if you can if y'all can send me in something or help me with all the stuff that's in front of me, tell me how I can use it, what I can do with it. I mean like this is a this is a whole bag of hush puppy mix. Well really it's not <laughs> whoa really it's not very high in carbohydrates. It's twenty one grams of um, carbohydrates in this. But let's go back to the... Here's the chicken bread breading. Well, it's only got 10 grams of carbohydrates. So, see, I mean, I don't... <laughs> I don't know what I can use and what I can't use. I would think that I would be able to, if this has only got 10 grams of carbohydrates, I would think that I would be able to bread my chicken in this and bake it. But who knows? The Hush Puppy Mix. I would think I would be able to use this, and it's got 2 grams of dietary fiber in it, so... Um, that would be 19 grams of carbohydrates. So, um, I mean, I just, am, I need help. And I figured that the best way that I can get help is to ask y'all, because y'all are going to know. Anybody that's diabetic is going to know way more than I do. So, please help me. Write me. You can send me an email foodprepping at gmail.com you can send me in diabetic recipes you can send me in your opinions on different things you can tell me how I can use this stuff I mean some of this stuff I'll be able to use for Thanksgiving because uh, I mean I am fixing for a big family I just won't be able to eat it myself so I can fix it for them 
but um, I really, my kids don't cook like I cook, so this flour and all this, I mean, I just hate to throw it away. It's been open, I don't know, I, it's, I mean, it's full, I, and I don't know what to do with it. So send me in any help that you can give me, and I appreciate it so much. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share this on your Facebook, your Twitter, your Pinterest, maybe someone, if you don't know someone, if you don't know that much about diabetics, maybe some of your friends do, someone that can help me, send all of your responses to food prepping, that's one word, F-O-O-D-P-R-E-P-P-I-N-G at gmail.com. And I appreciate all of you, and you have a good day. Bye.